hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our daily hacking news series. You may hit the like button to give a shout out to our team. Now let's get right into the video. So first news is coming from Ukraine. So basically the Ukraine hacktivists. So hacktivists are the people those who are supported from the government side. Or those who are doing some sort of illegal activity and maybe supported from the government side. So basically the Ukrainian hacktivist reportedly disrupted alcohol shipment in Russia's after committing distributed denial of service attack against a critical online portal and this was the news which is coming from uh, according to the local report so basically the alcohol producers and distributors are required by the law to register their shipment with the egais portal and loosely translate as the united state automated alcohol auto accounting automation system, information system and however several entities in the sector told local news site Wodosnitsky this week that DDoS attack by Ukrainian hacktivists down the site on May 2 and 3. So what do you think? Which hacker group is more powerful? Ukrainian or Russian? Just comment it out. Now the next news is related to Windows. So basically the cyber security analysts have discovered an unknown malware campaign combining two methods never before employed by the cyber criminals to infect victims machine with fileless malware. Yes, fileless malware. So basically the cell code can be injected directly into the window event log files using this technique. And the window event log can thus be used by the adversaries to hide their malicious trojan in the process of downloading them. So this is the new one. Now the next news is related to Cisco. So basically the Cisco has released the Cisco cloud control framework which is called CCF. So they have released CCF to the public. So basically the cloud CCF is comprehensive set of international and national security compliances and certificate requirements aggregated in one framework. It empowers team to make sure cloud product and services meet security and privacy requirement and thanks to simplified rationalized compliances and risk management strategy saving significant resources. Now the last news is related to Heroku. So basically Heroku has now revealed that the stolen GitHub integration zero token from the last month further led to the compromisation of internal customer database. So basically the Salesforce on cloud pl platform acknowledged that same compromised token was used by the attackers to exfiltrate customer hashed and sorted password from a database. So Heroku update coming uh, after the bleeping computer reaches out the Salesforce yesterday. And like many users, uh, they said we expected to receive the password reset email from Heroku. Even throughout Bleeping Computer does not have any zeroth integration that use Heroku app or GitHub. So this indicates that these password reset were related to another matter. So there's a lot of hacking things is going all over the world. So what do you think? Which country is behind it? Just comment it down. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, comment down your feedback. You may subscribe because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So at last, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai.